going to be humorous. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Nanny asked, uh, there is a OneDrive issue with one of my users. The user is given edit permissions by the other user to a file, okay? But when he is trying to access the file, it is still showing you need permission to access that. Then he requested and again, given permission, still the same issue. Can someone please let me know what's the problem? Yes, Kirsty. <laughs> I usually find that with my users, having trained an awful lot of them, when they go and click on that link and they're going to whatever browser they're going to use, they're logging in with another user. Um, they're coming in with their personal account or they're coming in with a different account and it's just because it's automating. So it's it's that's usually then they're trying to log in as another user. So therefore, when they then still give permission to another email address, it will just keep coming back around because they're not actually giving it to the email address that they're accessing the file with. It always comes down to that. I have not ever found it not be that. So I say, you know, get that link go online, log in as um, in private mode or incognito or whatever, go log in and put your link in and log in and just double check between the two of you what email address or what accounts you've actually got. That's a quick way to do that is, is that you don't have permissions, you request access, and then the person who's adding permissions can go look at and see, Ah, uh, yeah, you are logged in as a different user. I know this is something, this is a common issue now because we have, you know, all of us have multiple logins. We have different emails that we're using, uh, depending on which browser. Like I've always got Chrome and, uh, uh, and uh, um, is it Edge? Sorry, uh, sorry, I just forgot the name of it there. Uh, I was gonna say IE, uh, <laughs> with, with, with Edge, and I might have different permissions set up on on you know yeah. for each browser to different systems. So I have to be careful of what I'm trying to click a link in, log into based on the browser. Um, so usually I'll have community stuff that's in Chrome, and I'll have work stuff that's over on Edge within yeah. the workstation. Um, and so that that's where you could run into that that situation. But that's the other part of it is I've also run into situations where that somebody created a profile for me, something, and they got my email, my work email wrong. So they see my name, but when they set me up, they did it incorrectly. And so I talked. actually don't have access. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, great days. That's the other one. Absolutely. The root of all SharePoint evil is permissions. I think that's the, like the number one answer on the board is definitely you are logging in with the wrong. Yeah the wrong address of the wrong account, the wrong something, <laughs> the wrong address or email account. It's one, one way or the other. Yeah. Every great once in a while. The only other thing is that there is some dorky policy or configuration in the admin center that's allowing something to happen that the user doesn't understand. And then when they try to actually use it, it doesn't work. So every once in a while, there's something that keeps you so safe that it I won't feel, let feel you safe. use the product. You're enveloped in bubble wrap. Yes, you're so <laughs> safe that you can't even log into your own stuff. You also can't breathe, but that's how <laughs> safe you are. Who <laughs> needs to breathe? It's a big warm hug, like drowning. <laughs> uh, in a warm tub, yeah.